Well, we not really enough time has gone by yet, but I wanted to show you a little bit more of the amount of opening that I'm running, and that's double what I'm going to run right there. That's double the opening I'm going to run. And this is quite a bit more than I'm going to run after it just comes up a little bit of the temperature. Uh, and we're really talking about fractions here to keep this thing running properly. Temperatures come up a little bit. Now, I used to be a nuclear startup engineer in the instrumentation and controls division. First 10 years of my career before I went strictly software. You got to tap these things. They are friction. I'm sorry, they are an analog device. They turn based on the difference between uh, two pieces of metal, and one of them will expand faster than the other, and in this case, expand. But there's friction involved, so you have to tape that, to tap that to get a good reading. And it's come up five degrees. Each uh, each one of those little hash marks, I don't know if they're recording, let me get in a little closer. Each one of those little hash marks is uh, 10 degrees on there on that particular scale. So, let me, I think I can get the smoke better if I come from here. Yeah, so there it is, smoking away. And I'm really only concerned about the smoke during the first portion of this. I don't try to keep smoke on it for 30 hours. If you did, you're probably going to end up with creosote on there, which is a black, tarry substance, and it'll ruin the meat. It doesn't, it just, it tastes a lot. If you ever taste it uh, on there, it's going to taste a little bit like mint, but a vinegary mint, and sharp and to your tongue. I always sample my meat, and I'll take a... a a uh, little taste of the outside bark and make sure that I don't have cre too much creosote on it because it's really and truly when you're smoking at these low temperatures you're going to get it. It's only if you used an, a complete offset egg, I'm uh, sorry, a complete offset device and uh, only used coals at, and not any open flame at all but just coals which is the, actually the traditional way that you would avoid creosote. But with an egg I don't if I'm going to get this flavor on there, I don't know of any other way to, to do that. So that's uh, that's the way we're going. Now I I've have uh, several smokers back here, and this is uh, that frame right there. That's my welding table, and we broke it when we moved up here. It's just a cheap little place to weld. I sometimes build smokers, and I taught myself to weld just so that I could build those. These are different. They're not smokers. They're, this is uh, a fireplace pit. We use it mainly for heat. It's got another attachment that goes on it. I think Coleman makes it. I'm not sure. And then these are a couple of smokers. One of them for electric for when we go camping. There's a big smoker that underneath that tarp that I pulled back. That's um, for when I have a lot of sausage and stuff I want to smoke. And this is our grill. We don't uh, smoke on the grill. And I'm going to move that egg from over there over to this step-up area that we've got here. Uh, but I've got to wait till I heal a little bit better. And that, by the way, that pot, that's a Alton Brown smoker. I think that was a real cool invention of Alton's. And I use it, surprisingly enough, not so much for barbecue, but I did try it out. Uh, but we... <laughs> At Christmas time, if we're running out of ovens, or Thanksgiving, if we're running out of ovens and we need to bake bread, then we, we'll run some extra bread out here on that thing, and that really works pretty well. Uh, this is our new porch we just had put in because we love being outside. And that's perking along pretty good, so I'm going to probably make a temperature adjustment. It's showing a little low, and it's feeling a little low. So there's still a lot of moisture in that uh, meat, and that's uh, preventing the egg temperature from coming up much. So I think I'll leave it alone for a little while, but I've really got to keep an eye on it. Okay, end of that session.